Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. We're returning to Vilden to save Ratchet's planet for the second time. Why? Because we've got the Rhino now. We need to actually do this again if we want to get the gold weapons, so let's do it. We have a Rhino though. As you can see, it's a very powerful weapon, especially against living things. All enemies are torn asunder by its multiple missile launches. We need not worry about any enemies that may attack us. But the Rhino disposes of all enemies, except that one. We'll have to use our, our hardware for that. Does it even drop ammunition? That's what I'm curious about. Guess we'll find out. We'll stock up on the other ammo types soon. Let's just fire away. Make sure we deal with any approaching enemies. We'll save the Rhino here. We might as well use the Omni Wrench. There we are. Lots of blaster ammunition. We don't need blasters anymore. We can, however, fire the Rhino at all of these enemies. Well, that, that vehicle is destroyed, as well as those enemies over there. This is literally the the gun of game breaking. It's not even pretending it's not. A malt of Gatling homing missile launcher, it's like everything dies. Oh. That was a sudden camera angle change. I think I did that myself though. Alright. Let's progress. We might as well ride out these people. It works rather well. It's very good at what it does. As you can see, it is not overcosted in any way. That's why I was not more particularly worried about having to redo this level, because I'm like, well, you know, we'll have the Rhino, so... This is actually just going to be literally just an A move into the enemies. Let's pull out the, the Trespasser, though. We've got this uh, Trespasser puzzle to redo. Alright, so... Shouldn't be too difficult. There we are. Let's re-equip the Rhino. Attack the enemies. The silly thing about the Rhino is that the sequels have Rhinos as well. They're better than this one. <laughs> it's a scary thought, isn't it? Nonetheless, though. It's a very powerful piece of Gadgetron technology. And we're using it against Drex forces. Tesla Claw, Vizzy Bomb. Let's top off all our remaining ammunition types. Hi there, Fuzzball. How are you doing, random shopkeeper? He seems unsure of himself. Oh, that's a nice one. I thought so too. We'll just top off oh, on everything. Nice one. Which we have done. Excellent. Let's continue our attack against Drex forces. Up we go. So now we need to pull out the Hydro Displacer. Which I shall now put here. In case we need it again, which we probably will. Also pull out the thruster pack. Excellent. Up we get again, but let's not shoot our enemies with the Hydra Displacer, shall we? That seems silly. Let's use the Rhino. That's not that problem. 
It looks like that Rhino Ammunition is not actually dropped, which is a little sad. But I do like how they made a unique sprite for the Rhino Ammunition. That is appreciated. Not that I think we're going to have too many problems with ammo, with how dangerous this, this weapon is. Let's make sure we don't fall off to an inevitable death, shall we? Yeah, he's just dropping random ammunition types now. Good to know. I believe the Rhino 2 you can get ammunition from crates, so that's something that it has over this one. Oh yes. This weapon is, is the game abandoning balance, but it's the reward for putting the effort in, right? Probably should take a little bit more attention with that particular drop. That'd be a bit of a shame, dying to that. Thank you for dealing with that with your AoE. Let's swing shot over. Alright, time for another trespasser puzzle. You liking the clip we're making through this level? I am. Alright, here we go. So... Let's pull out the Rhino again, keeping our eyes open for any more Elite Guard, of which there are many. All those enemies have been defeated. So. The weapons are tad strong, it's gotta be said. Slightly balanced. Now this area you might remember is taking ages to clear. It's not gonna be a problem anymore. Maybe you're supposed to use giant plank for this section. Either way, it's not a problem. I guess I'll stop taking free hits, but it's actually they're out of range of the of the rhino. That's the one thing that the rhino doesn't have is infinite range. It has infinite damage, I think. I guess we'll get to try that out against Drek in a moment. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll do the gold weapons and rhino in this particular video and we'll then look at the the other bonus content in the goodies menu as a bonus video that I'll probably upload the same day but just uh, keep it as its own video in case anyone's specifically looking just for those then they'll be all in one little clip. Alright, we're almost done here. We don't need the hydro displacer anymore. Looks like we are going to have to do this section as Giant Clank. I have given myself a lot of damage, but I don't think it's going to be a problem, to be honest. Alright, Giant Clank time. I think that was a good demonstration of the Rhino's power, though. So yes, here's a few of these dudes left. So there was a reason that they had these dudes here. I just cleared them all out of busy bombs. 
This is me impulsively picking up bolts that I know I don't actually need, but you know. It happens. Let's go say hello to Drek, who will be waiting for us. Let's use some of the other weapons this turn. So effectively what he's done there is he's buffed me because I now can use the Rhino. <laughs> Where's that gadget on Bender? Here it is. Hi there, Fuzzball. Let's max out a Rhino. I'm gonna equip the uh the heli pack just for safety. Alright, let's do this. I think the only way I can actually die here is if I fail the platforming again, but let's just hope that doesn't happen, shall we? <laughs> okay. So here we are, let's pull out the Rhino and attack it. As you can see, it works rather well. Almost completing the phase in a single shot. I don't think we'll have any problems with ammunition. Just saying. Let's make sure I don't fail the swing shots again. The concentration. I do love the music of this planet. It's stayed with me so long. And here we are. It's Rhino time. Gotta so watch out for the mines though. They're actually gonna distract the Rhino shots. That's no good. How am I supposed to free clear the boss? There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go head over to him again. To the main deplanetizer platform. It's not named in this particular version of the game, but it is named in the uh, in the remake. Well, I think it was named in the cutscene, but it wasn't named as a uh, in any other significant way. Alright, it's gonna watch out, of course, because he will actually shoot the final platform before I can land on it. So even though you don't really need that platform, he will shoot it, so see if it falls down. Power slam that button to terminate the countdown. To power slam, jump and press the R1 button. We will need to of course stop the planet from exploding, but apart from that, we can just attack the boss pretty freely. Let's power slam this. Oh, I suppose he will be trying to zap us a bit. That's made him change his mind. We may not even need to bother with change to say to turn the button off, to be honest. <laughs> I could probably kill him before the planet explodes. Who needs to terminate countdowns when you can just kill the boss before it's even relevant? That's how it's done. Congratulations. Now that Chairman Drex account has been closed, you're Gadgetron's most valued customer. We've got new items available for you. Just check the new goodies menu on your pause screen. If you'd like, you can start a new game with all of your current weapons and bolts. You can also go back to your last save. Go ahead and pick one. So we're going to start a new game in this case, which puts us into a new slot. We'll skip the cutscenes, might as well. 
So, Velden, without it being in imminent peril, looks a lot brighter, to be honest. Let's go and recover Clank. Of course, we've lost our gadgets, but we have retained all of our weapons, which is very useful. We'll just test the claw our way out of this. What am I doing collecting bolts? Let's just hurry along, shall we? After all, we got to get things... People might try to crouch jump, that's not going to work either. We just need to get over to Clank and then head over to Novalis. So we can then use these gold weapons. Pretty straightforward, I'd say. And Clank's over here now. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. So this teleporter has now appeared. Let's transport to the gold weapons room, shall we? This is where all the remaining gold weapons may be found. Let's purchase all of them. The gold decoy glove. Which deploys... Evil, black looking ratchets. I'm not sure if these uh, explode or anything when they're destroyed. They're certainly hard here. I mean, I'm beating this thing up and they're not dying fast. I'll we'll have to check it out again in a moment against some enemies. The Gold Glove of Doom. We've got the Gold Morpho Ray. The Gold Mine Glove. Which presumably uses more powerful mines. The Gold Porosita. Which no longer is a flamethrower, it's now an acid thrower. The Golden Devastator. That's a very powerful one, that one. And of course, the Golden Tesla Claw. Let's give these weapons a try, shall we? It's obviously going to be quite. He's obviously going to kill these things pretty quickly, but let's give it a go. So, green Tesla Lightning. Presumably it attacks more things at once. The very... Oh, the range is significantly high. Look at that. That's very powerful. Alright, well that was the golden Tesla Claw. Let's try the gold Morpho Ray. It turns into a giant chicken. That enemy appears to be attracted to the giant chicken. And the dog chicken eventually can be destroyed. It may explode automatically after some time as well. That's interesting. Okay. I imagine it's more powerful as well. There we go. Useful. The fact it attracts enemies is very curious. It's like there's a bunch of enemies here, for example. So before you just chicken the middle one. So yeah, that guy will now be like, I must attack the chicken! They're also just suiciding into the river, which is a bit curious. Nonetheless though, that is curious, yeah. That chicken is attracting the attention of that robot. Curious. So I've seen the golden blaster and bomb glove before. Let's try the Prosida. So it's a significantly more powerful uh, flame weapon, I guess. The range is a lot higher. It does appear to be uh, It's a shame that it's no longer a flamethrower. It's now like an acid thrower, I guess. But it happens. 
when you're upgrading stuff like this. Oh no! The bridge! Whatever shall we do? And now the enemies descend! And they die in the fire. Well, the range has certainly increased and the damage as well, I assume. Let's try the Golden Glove of Doom. More powerful little uh, Doom bots, I guess. They seem to have like little thrusters as well. Let's try it again. Let's go down here. Okay, let's deploy the, the Golden Glove of Doom there. That uh, seems more powerful. Gotta be said. The fact that they explode, I think the other one's only just attacked, right, rather than exploded. That would be more powerful. Okay. Golden Mine Glove, I mean, I assume this works in the same way. Probably with a larger radius. And a larger explosion radius, too. Wow, that bomb. Wow, that dude came from all the way over there to kill this one robot. We're certainly laying waste. Let's try the, the decoy glove before I forget. There we are. Let's, this is a decoy. Destroy the decoy, if you can. It's taken a beating. And it destroys the enemy once it's defeated. An interesting, an interesting weapon. Okay, let's try the... We've basically just got the Golden Devastator to go, I reckon, and we're basically done. Let's see, are there enough enemies here to demonstrate it on? Okay, there's three. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire at the left-hand side and then see what happens. So if I shoot you, you can see a second shot comes out and hits that guy, and, it, and then it goes out and hits that guy. Very powerful. I've skipped all the cutscenes so we can just continue to test the weapons out. We've already seen them all already anyway. Excuse me trying to stretch jump when I don't have the ability to do that yet. But, you could see how that Devastator with one rocket eliminated three separate enemies by the projectiles snaking out as they did. Very interesting. Ooh, barely holding on to that, but we did. Nonetheless, though, I think that's a pretty good demonstration. I think we've covered all of the weapons. Let's make sure I didn't miss any. We've already tried out the Suck Cannon as well in the main playthrough. Yeah, that's pretty much everyone. So I hope that you enjoyed watching all of these powerful weapons and go uh, upgrades that are available when you go through the second playthrough. Normally what you do is in the second playthrough, you're saving up the bolts so you can buy those weapons from this room. Nonetheless, though, thank you for watching. When we come back next time, we're going to go through the goodies menu and see the last few snippets of what Ratchet & Clank has to offer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, right here at Conflux Games.